What is cooking guys, it's your boy Porky Pig back at it again with vlog number 7 and this time I was invited to Barf and Chose for the product awareness campaign of this beer. It's called the Sir Urquil. It's from the Czech Republic and I love this beer. This is actually my first time here in Bar Pinchos. The first thing that struck me when entering this place is the ambiance and how well lit the place is. The, the music wasn't so noisy and the seats, so noisy. The seats are very cozy too. Now people tell me that uh, the food here is authentic Spanish tapas and we're eating now actually and I can attest to that. The food here is absolutely sensational. So I'm here with Sir Jojo, one of the guys who brought this beer to the Philippines, uh, Pilsner Urkel. So what can you say about your beer, sir? Yeah, first of all, it's the original Pilsner and it's the world's first. So it's direct from Czech Republic. So this is the grandfather of all Pilsners in the whole world. So it's made from Pilsen in Czech. If you look at San Miguel, there's San Miguel Pale Pilsen. And that's the reason why they have Pilsen is because this beer was made in Pilsen, Czech Republic. There it is. Pilsen, Czech Republic. Well, we, we want them to experience the real deal because we're very strict about quality. There's no buffer stock, so from the time we place the order, that's the time they do production planning, and that's they actually, they brew the, the beer, and they ship the beer, and the best before date is nine months, so that's that. You know, if, if it's beyond nine months, it's not as good as it was, you know, the first time it came out of the brewery. So if you talk about real deal, the, the real beer, the, the original Pilsner, this is exactly how a beer should taste like. Thank you, sir, for bringing this to the country. I love this beer. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. So let's talk about the appearance of this lovely beer. It's golden and it's clear. It's like the color of my Lamborghini that I want, which I will never get. And it retains its head pretty nicely. And yeah, I want the Lamborghini. <laughs> now the smell. It smells earthy, like fresh bread with um, hints of, uh, I believe it's hot. Absolutely delightful. That's how you do it. So, Auntie's gonna teach me how to cheers like the Czech do. So, let's talk about the feel of this beer. First and foremost, this beer is heavy. I suggest you guys do not eat dinner before drinking this beer if you plan to get drunk on it. The carbonation is amazing. It feels really cr crisp in your mouth and I'll just have another one. It sizzles. It sizzles in your mouth. You can taste the bitterness every time after. Because the Czech hops will really kick in at the aftertaste. I recommend this beer to everyone. So overall impressions of this beer. This beer came from Filzin, Czech Republic. You guys can see that. 
So it's an authentic Pilsner because it came from the town where the term Pilsner came from, which is Pilsen, Czech Republic. Now, I would get drunk on this every day if it was up to me. If I had enough money to get drunk on it every day. It's an amazing beer, it's heavy, yes. But the taste, it's amazing. You can say it's on par with uh, Heineken, it's on par with uh, Guinness. So I would like to introduce this to you guys. It's called Pilsner Urquell. It's probably one of the most amazing new beers I've tasted um, today. But don't take my word for it. Go to Bar Pinchos here in Alabama or there in uh, BGC to have a taste of this wonderful beer. Pilsner, bagong beer ng bayan. Cheers. <laughs> like and subscribe. Do it. Do it. You gotta do it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell.